What is going on guys? I'm Viking Actual and in today's video I wanted to talk about what Tom Henderson tweeted. Um, I don't know if this is going to get covered by bigger YouTubers but um, so apparently EA is making a new Battlefield game. So um, you know I'm going to just read the tweet word for word and then we can discuss it afterwards alright. EA is in such a weird position with Battlefield right now when it comes to their next game. Do they release one next year where there won't be any Call of Duty competition? Or do they have another three, three year cycle and compete against a Treyarch COD in 2024? So that one right there, it's like, all right, like I, I wouldn't know why they would want to release a Battlefield game next year. I think they should just work on 2042. I think it can be fixed. Obviously, it's never going to be uh, one of the all-time great Battlefield games, but it's an okay-ish game. You know what I mean? It's not horrible. It's just not good. Um, his next tweet, which I found a little more interesting. Um, I'm just going to read it again, word for word. I don't want to misquote anything or anything like that. So... Here we go. The next game was always meant to build upon 2042, but with its bad reception, it seems like they're going down the route of rebooting the series entirely and making a game that we should have got this time around, modern day, etc. Hopefully, they've learned a lot. That was an interesting one for me because I have wanted a modern game for Battlefield right obviously battlefield 1 aesthetically was amazing so modern day that but in modern day i i think it would have been awesome um battlefield 5 i i just didn't really like it um you know the trailer itself gave me bad vibes and then you know, the game released and all that i just didn't like the way it felt you know the gameplay felt a little like call of duty to me for some reason like um I believe at the, the time I said it felt more like Call of Duty than Battlefield, so it was just not a good um not a good game in my opinion. Of course, it's just my opinion. Uh, let me know down in the comments how you feel about it. Would you be willing to get a, a new Battlefield game next year? Because to be honest, I don't know. I am super shaky with EA right now. You know, they have some sus track record I, I just i can't really completely say that i would be down for another game but it is what it is you know we'll have to wait and see how it all turns out um but yeah so the third tweet that i wanted to address is again tom's and he says to add i don't think a title next year is out of the question it end up releasing in a standard Battlefield development window timeline, with EA internally reporting a couple of weeks back that staff will be returning to the office in the coming weeks depending on restrictions. So that was interesting because he says that staff will be returning to the office in the coming weeks depending on restrictions. So. As you guys know, Battlefield 2042 was made from home. It was just some random guy in his garage making Battlefield 2042. That is, wow, that is exactly how it went. Because there's no way a, an entire team made this game. This is worse than literally some indie games. Like, it, it's embarrassing. Um, obviously, that's not true, right? It took a, a big team to make this game. But it's just not a good game. That's all I'm trying to say. Um, but with them returning to the office, you know, that is a different thing. So I think it would be a little more polished than it is than Battlefield 2042 is. But again, I'm just not sure. I'm not willing to make a bet. You know what I mean? It's just we don't really know. So, you know, it is what it is. Let me know down in the comments again how you feel about that. But um, to finalize the video let's talk about some questions that people had so kian nguyen 
Trung asked, there is still a chance for a new Battlefield game? Question mark. And Tom Henderson said, yeah, it's been in development for about six months. Then below that, somebody said, wait, so they totally gave up on 2042 and started develop developing a new one. They kind of miswrote that, but whatever. Um, and Tom says, no. Basically, the next game's conceptual stuff starts before the release on the current game, which is true. It has been true for a lot of games like Red Dead Redemption and all of that. So um, it's not out of the ordinary, for example, with Marcus Leto's studio, which was founded in October 2021. So before the release, that studio is for the future titles, not Battlefield 2042. So I, I, I don't know how to feel about that and somebody else uh, let me see if I can find him because I want to give him credit for what he said um, let's see let's see hold on just bear with me all right bear with me I'll just cut when I found it and okay I found it uh, his name is Razor Razor uh, I don't know at maybe Razor maybe underscore razor said honestly this entire time after 2042's launch and with portal being the best part i've just been thinking to myself wow they really should have just made a battlefield anniversary title it would make so much sense being so close to the 20 years since 1942 so of course 1942 was uh 80 years ago i'm just kidding i know he's talking about battlefield so I don't know to me that sounds really cool imagine a bunch of basically portal just a bunch of remastered things you know for example you know battlefield 1942 1943 you know battlefield 3 bad company 1 bad company 2 uh, battlefield 4 like imagine all of those games just combined into one that would have been cool you know the amount of maps that we could have received it's pretty cool instead we got this weird hero shooter battlefield game that nobody really likes because it's broken anyway so i think he had a point i think they should have just been working on portal instead of this um would people have complained maybe but maybe not so i don't know just let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this whole ordeal would you be willing to buy a new Battlefield game next year? Are you? Would you wait? I think I would wait to see the reception. But at the same time, like I also wouldn't want to miss out on release day. You know what I mean? Like because I buy my games digital, so on release day I would have to download it. So I don't. I don't know. Like I wouldn't want to miss out on a great release day. But with CA, it's dies their track record hasn't been good and i get that but what if this time is a good time you know what i mean and i miss out like it's just i don't know um again this is all just hearsay but that is what tom henderson has tweeted let me know down in the comments your thoughts and opinions on the matter but other than that thank you all so much for watching leave a like comment subscribe and i will see you all next time if you stick around